Hey everybody, Dave Laird here with DCS Training, and uh, sorry I haven't made a video in a little while. It's been uh, rather busy. But that being said, uh, a lot of guys have asked me for, uh, you know, how do I make these sandbags? So uh, these sandbags are, I need to make more of them. I lost the last few that I had or gave them away or students have used them or they broke or whatever. But uh, these sandbags, uh, a friend of mine, Skip, special shout out to you. Uh, showed me how to make these uh, a long time ago, and I really like these because they're just really soft and pliable, so it makes it easier for long-range shooting than your standard store-bought uh, sandbags. So really all I have here are two socks filled with rice, okay? And what's nice about it is you can make them lay really, really flat so it doesn't take up a whole lot of space, or you can set them up on their end and make them really tall, and you can make them as firm as you want to. Uh, you can make them in different sizes and shapes with how you tie the knots in them. I generally just tie them at the top and let the, the stuff lay in there loose, okay? So stack those up underneath, and now you have a nice little base to raise and lower your, your scope and give you a good solid platform to shoot from. Uh, the other neat part is because they're tied together when it's time to move, you can just throw them over your neck and take off running, okay? Uh, so it's easier to move from position to position. Throw them back down, throw them underneath, and you're good to go. So, uh, so what you're going to need is four cups of long green white rice, a cup, and a pair of old socks. Okay? All right, so we're going to stuff the cup with this old sock. And we're going to peel the sock around the top of the cup. Boom. And we'll take that our first cup and pour that in there. I did this earlier and it wasn't messy, but as soon as I start shooting the video, I bet you I'll, I'll make a huge mess. And obviously if you had a big enough jar to actually fit two cups of long green white rice, you'd be in better shape. some old candles would be perfect for this. There we go. That's one. Okay. Make it better. So why the long white rice? Well, there's some benefits to using rice. Um, sand isn't nearly as flexible. Usually when you go to the store and you buy sand, bags they're pretty tight and they don't mold very well to the shape you're trying to get it in they're just really stiff it's like sticking a board underneath the rifle in my humble opinion so i like to have a little bit of flex and give that allows me to get a uh, better shape around the buttstock holds it in place a little bit better um, also white rice attracts moisture so when you store your rifle if you throw the sandbags in your rifle case it'll help keep the uh, the rifle dry. Uh, I like the ability to, again, throw it over my neck so it's more portable. I can move from position to position. Your standard sandbags are just like, you know, they're just like bricks. I really don't attach any kind of any kind of way. They usually have straps or something on it, but it's just hard to pack up and move. Okay, so once I have both these socks filled, there's two cups of rice in each sock. Then I can tie them together at the top, and I try to leave little to nothing as far as the leads go. Try to keep it as narrow as possible and then just flex back and forth either, either way and pull it really tight. Don't worry about stretching these out because these are old socks and I like to use really thick socks. If they're really old and worn out then the, the rice can bleed through uh, in the pieces uh, in between the seams and stuff. So there's a set of rice socks and Last but not least, if you're out in the woods hunting or whatever and you're using these as your sandbags and you are running low on food, you got four cups of rice that you brought with you. So that's pretty much it. There's my sandbags. Put them over your neck. Carry two sets. You can stack these up any way you like. Throw them underneath that, that buttstock and it just creates a nice 
moldable platform here because it just gives on both sides, it wraps around the buttstock, making it more solid than a standard sandbag. All right, so if you like it, uh, click the like button, share it with friends, tell somebody, write sandbags. Thank you.